Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just creating a fun label for the egg container that I had found at Dollar Tree. I've been searching for these and finally I was able to grab a couple. If you guys are new here, I just want to say welcome and please don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit the notification bell next to it so you don't miss any of my videos. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the container where I will be placing the vinyl. This way I know how big is the image I will need to create in design space. I'm going to say it's about nine and a half inches in width and one and a quarter in height. I'm just going to remove the label and then use an alcohol pads to remove any dirt or leftover residue from the label. While that's drying, let's just head over to my screen and design space. So let's go ahead and enter a text. Then change the font to the skinny. This can be found at thefont.com and the link will be under the description box in case you guys need it. Let's bring the text up here. Now let me grab a shape so I can use it as a guide so I know how big the image I want them to be on the container. Then unlock the shape and you can also resize it up here by entering the size that you need. So I'm just putting nine and a half in width, then one and a quarter in height. I'm just going to change the color of the shape for a better view. And see how the shape is in front of the text? Let's go on the top panel and click Arrange. Then send the shape to the back. I'm going to move the text here. I want to see if I can make it a little bit bigger. And this is fine, so I'm just going to move this down here so I can adjust the letter space since they are too close to each other. So I'm going to the right side panel and click Ungroup. I'm just going to click and drag, touching only the letters I need, then click Weld. I'm doing the same thing on this side, just the letters I need, click and drag, then Weld. Now I'm going to move the text apart from each other. And I'm doing this in purpose so I can show you how you can align the text by selecting all of the text, click Align, and then to the bottom. The text is still selected, so it's up to you if you want to group the letters or weld it. I prefer to weld. So let's move the text back here. Let's go to Image. And I'm going to type up chicken. Scroll down and I'm going to look for the chicken I wanted to use. So this one right here is actually for print and cut. But I'm going to choose this anyway and insert the image onto my workspace. So I want this chicken to be a silhouette. And just go to the top panel and click no fill. So now I'm just going to adjust the size by dragging this arrow and move the image back to the box as my guide and then adjust the size again to my liking. I'm just placing the chicken to where I want it to be. Then click duplicate. Move the chicken on this side. Then flip it horizontal. I want to place it right here and see how I want them to look. And once I'm happy with it, I'm just going back to the layer panel and hide the text and the shape. Now let's select both chickens and align it to the bottom. Then group it. You can also weld if you like, it's up to you. Now I'm going to unhide the text and the shape. I'm going to select all, click align, and choose center horizontal. I'm 
I'm going to hide the shape or you can delete it, it's up to you. So I'm going to select all again, click attach so that my layers are not scrambled once I click make it. Then click continue. The dial on my machine is always in custom settings. This way I'm reminded what material am I working on at all times. Just click on browse all materials and type vinyl up here. And I'm going to choose premium vinyl for this project, then click done. And right here you can choose the pressure for more or less. I'm just going with the default for now. So now I'm going to get my vinyl and mat ready. And I'm using my roller to get the vinyl to stick onto the mat. And I will link all of the materials I'm using under the description box in case you guys want to check them out. Once you insert your mat onto the machine, just go ahead and hit start. And once it's done cutting, just click finish or unload your mat. I'm just removing the vinyl from the mat and then trim it. Then I weed from the corner and gently remove the vinyl that I don't need. Place your transfer tape on top of the vinyl. Trim if needed. And then burnish. Now what I'm going to do is just trim as close as I can to the vinyl. This just helps me see better the placement of the vinyl onto the container since the container is clear. And if you see my other videos, there are times I prefer to fold a little bit of the backing of the vinyl and then place it to the project just so I can view it. Then gently remove the backing of the vinyl and just press the vinyl onto the project. You can take your scraper and carefully burnish. Now carefully remove the transfer tape. And when you see the vinyl's not sticking, it's not a big deal. Just go ahead and rub it down with your fingers and it should be good to go. Alright you guys, if you want to see more or enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment below. And definitely hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.